So there is a proper way to cook ramen noodles. A lot of people don't really know what that way is, but the, the proper way, the, the way that you really should is you first bring your water to a boil. See? Then you add, you add your spice packet to the water. Come on, get all out of there. And then you add, then you add your doodle brick to it. Now doing it this way is going to get the noodles um, to properly dehydrate. If you do it by you just take a kettle, you know, like I have this kettle over here. If you just boil kettle water and you put it into a bowl, it takes a very long time for these noodles to, to fully dehydrate. Or rather, I should say hydrate, not dehydrate. They're already dehydrated. It takes a very long time for them to do that. So, you do it this way, and it, it, it cooks it much, much faster, and they fully come back out the way that they were when they originally were cooked. They, they taste very differently. They don't taste crunchy or anything like they would otherwise if you did it the, uh, the cheap way. And this is also the same with microwaving it. A lot of people microwave their, their ramen noodles. That's the wrong way to do it. This is the, cro the correct way to get the maximum amount of flavor. Now you should also add toppings to it. You know, if you have egg, egg, if you have egg, definitely add some egg to it. You know, uh, add meats. One thing I like to do is I like to take frozen vegetables, which I don't have right now because my, my freezer's um, my freezer's broken. But you take a bag of frozen uh, vegetables, you cook it up, and you mix it in here with the ramen, and then you add shrimp. It's so delicious, super delicious. And um, it's just very, very fucking delicious. And one of these days I'll have to make that recipe. But uh, this is my tip for the proper way to make ramen when you're full-time RV living or just cooking in general. Basic life skill, really, like how to make proper... Look at that. Look how fast. Look how fast this has turned into just regular noodles here. Look at that. This is the proper way to do it, guys. Now one thing I am going to do is I'm going to add some of this premium zesty lemon chicken to my ramen. It's, it's already pre-cooked and it's packaged and um, it doesn't look that great, but when you add it to the noodles and mix it up, it makes it taste a lot better and it's just a little bit more filling. These things are very cheap, they store pretty well and um, it's just really good. So I, I, I suggest adding things to your ramen noodles. Don't just eat it plain. It doesn't, it's not as filling. Look at that now. These noodles are so full. I've got little pieces of chicken in here, lemon pepper chicken, pre-cooked. And um, this whole meal just took me, I probably made this whole thing in under 10 minutes. And it look, just, just looking at this, you can tell that it's gonna be very filling. It's not really complicated. Again, I would normally add some frozen vegetables to this. Uh, I definitely like adding shrimp to it, but I don't have a, a working fridge at the moment, so I can't do that. But uh, nevertheless, without a fridge, still made a very tasty dinner. So, hope that this uh, tip helps you out in your own cooking endeavors while you're full-time living in an RV. See that? Doesn't that look good? You just see the steam coming off of it. It's, it's a little bit chilly here. But, um, yeah. Quick, easy meal. Also, I want to show this off a little bit. Yeah. My favorite oven mitt.